Hello everybody. Today I will be changing out the passenger side seat belt. Originally in my rebuild, when I was doing it, I wasn't quite sure how to change just the seat belt out of the tensioner mechanism. So I left the tannish brown seat belt in the frame from the black and tan uh, vehicle, parts vehicle. But then as I was working on the driver's side seat, I figured it out and the driver's side seat is done. So now I'll be doing the passenger side. Now remember, and uh, be sure, to put down a nice protection on your sill right there, and your knee pad, kneeling pad. Okay, now I'm going to start here. Now this might seem a little rude kind of way of doing it, but you see the gap right here? Okay, I'll be taking a microfiber. Laying it right there. I'll take my screwdriver. Find right in the gap. Find the gap. Give it a little turn. All right. See it popped off. Now take the rag out. See there's no damage. Okay. You pull this out. Bring it up on an angle a little bit. And you will. I have to switch hands. Now pull this out forward. Okay. I see it came out like that. So it's turn, push forward, up a little bit. You'll see in here, you'll see the one hole right to the slot for the clip. You can, let me see if I can get my phone in there. There's the clip, see the clip? It goes into that slot, then goes up and drops down. Okay, same here. You have a slot back here with a clip. Okay, now this screw right here is what I have to take out right now. I'm gonna pause, remove that screw. Okay, now with the screw removed, you'll see that now I can take this, push down a little bit, down under that one, you'll see this tab come out, and then there is the bolt. Now, you'll see this right here, this is just flimsy hanging on there, but there is one more screw down the bottom if you feel like taking it out around the back, take this completely off. But there's plenty of room right here to get at that bolt that you have to take for the seatbelt. So I'm gonna pause. Okay, the seat belt is now off. I just put these back in place just loosely, just while I go on to the next stage. Next stage is, you're going to do this here. You have this backrest panel. Put plenty of padding down on the seat here, okay? So you have your backrest panel. What you're gonna do is reach your hand in here. Yeah, work it under there, work it in good, and lift up. See it coming out? Okay, see that? All right, now you'll want to go in here with your hand, okay, and work it over. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so it's kind of tough. But you see that little clip right there? You want to protect your leather, so push it way over on that side, like that. Push it over. Now pull it out, and then put these underneath and rest everything on here, okay. I'm gonna pause for one moment. Okay, now that the back massaging blotter piece is all pulled out, you'll see in here some screws you have to take out. One back in here. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Okay, so after pulling out the rear section here, like I was saying, we'll have, oh, music stopped. We'll have um, a spot here to remove, one, two, up in here, the top one, three, okay. So I'm gonna go in there, loosen these up. Okay, and over here again, so you can see where it is. There, okay, there. Okay, and then here. Now this bracket here may look different because I believe I reinstalled a different one back when I put this in. I believe it's supposed to be this one. Okay, it'll look like this. So this is probably what you'll see. 
Okay, I'm going to pause for a moment. Okay, now that the screws are all removed, three places, the bracket, the screw up there, and the screw over there, we're going to lay this back just gently. Remember to keep it covered there and just lay it gently up there. Move your seat belt around to the front. Let's move these to the front. Okay, we're going to move the seat up. Tilt all the way up. Okay. Let's go to the top. Rotating forward. Recliner. Don't hit your sun visor. Okay. We'll go on the bottom here. And we have some screws to take out. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay. After the screws are removed down to the bottom here, which I will show you on another piece, which will be much easier to explain. You will then get this part out here, and then you will pull this out. You see it coming out? This thing. Okay, up all the way around. Again, I'm doing this with one hand filming, so... Sorry about that. Here you go. Okay. Keep working it out. And uh, I'm going to pause. Okay. Up top around the bend here is a little tough. Definitely need two hands. Okay. I'll continue down this side over here. There's my hand going in. Just pulling it out. Okay, switch hands. You'll see it's just a plastic uh, piece that goes into the groove here. It'll be much more explanatory when I show you the other brown piece that I have over there. Okay, so now, being all my screws are out, let's see how easily this will pop out okay see it starting to come out so I'm going to pause again so that I can take this out again it needs two hands hold on okay so when you're taking this out you will slide it down so like it's toward the floor and then lay it back do be careful there's the wiring for the light under the seat okay now you have the full exposure of the back of the seat. So now I'm going to be taking the seatbelt apart. I do have pictures of this on my rebuild on six speed. I'll get the uh, post number so you can see exactly how I take it apart. I will pull it all the way out, then lock it with a pair of vice grips and then pull the pin out that holds the seatbelt itself into the mechanism and then insert the red seatbelt. Going to pause again.